Hi guys, my name is Pratik Zoshi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today is a very special video because unlike the other times where I cover topics related to education, today I'm going to be speaking about an app called as Digi Yatra and how to use it. This app is particularly useful when you're traveling from one state to the other in India. Uh, all you need to do is register on this app and today we are going to be knowing how to do it from scratch. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So to start off with, you basically need four things without which you cannot proceed ahead. First thing is downloading the Digi Yatra app. This is the app that is available on App Store as well as Play Store. So make sure you download it on your smartphone. That's number one. Number two is basically having your Aadhaar card right there with you. Uh, a physical copy or a digital copy works. Third thing is the registered mobile number which is linked to your Aadhaar card. And fourth is basically uh, the boarding pass that is available for download after you have completed your web check-in. So once all of these things you have with you, then only you can proceed ahead with this video. So let's move on to the screen recording. So once I click on DJ Author, click on uh, get started. Once that is done, enter your registered mobile number for the app. So once that is done, click on register. Then it says loading and now from here it will say enter OTP. So on your uh, mobile number that you have added, the OTP will arrive. So enter the OTP here. So I'm going to click 399985 enter. So then it's about biometric whether you want uh, your fingerprint or just skip. I'm going to just press skip for now. Then once you open uh, the entire thing, you will see that add credentials and it says click here to start your journey. So click on add credentials. So once you click on uh, add credentials, click on the plus button that is there at the bottom right corners. So once you click on that, it will ask for continue with DigiLocker and Aadhaar card. I'm clicking Aadhaar card. Once that is done, it will ask for your consent for the data. So click on I agree. And then the DigiAthra will ask for your Aadhaar card number. Enter that and press submit. So once that is done, it says loading from there, it will send an OTP to the mobile number that is registered with the Aadhaar card. So that time enter the OTP that has come and press enter from there. It will verify it says loading and these are the details of your Aadhaar card. So then proceed and here it says that you will need for a face ID. So click on while using the app, uh, Digiatra can take pictures. So make sure you zoom in to make sure that your face is aligned in that particular window press proceed and once that is done you will see that it is saying that waiting for establishing network and then all your details will be visible like this click on proceed once that is done your add credentials you have a tick mark there then press on the add boarding pass yellow button there once you click on that it is again asking for data so click on i agree now you have three options, scan boarding pass, upload boarding image and upload boarding PDF. I have the PDF, hence I'm clicking on that. Once that is done, I have to just select where that particular boarding pass is. So I'm clicking the Bangalore to Goa, which are the flight that I was taking. Click on that. It says loading and wait for all the below things to become green. So once that is said, it says successfully shared. So once you click on OK, this is the final image that you see and this is more than enough to make sure you get seamless experience at Indian airports. Currently, this is present on 13 Indian airports, but definitely maybe by the time you see this video, it will be present on more airports throughout India. So this is more than enough what you need to show at the airports or all the airlines or even the security will never basically ask you for this. They will just scan your face and they will come to know who you are. And even the airline guys will just scan this uh, with their uh, QR code scanners and they will not ask you for any other thing. So basically you say, uh, save out on the time that you usually take for giving ID and you know, all the boarding pass details, but here with everything is sorted with this one particular application. So I hope you make good use of it. And if you are a frequent flyer in India, this is something that you definitely need to do. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. I'll be seeing you for the next video. So until then be happy, stay safe and take care of your loved ones.